Hello viewers, hope you all are doing great. In continuation to ongoing protein series on my channel Food Cyto, today I am going to discuss a very important property of proteins that is gel formation and in that I will be covering few key learnings regarding gel formation and its relevance in food chemistry. So let's begin. A gel is a remarkable phenomenon displaying the property of rigidity sometimes at quite low concentrations of solute and yet often showing the properties of solvent remarkably unchanged. Now what do I mean by that? For example, most gels in water show vapor pressure and electrical conductivity very close to water. The phenomena displayed by gels are complex. Gels differ considerably in their rigidity. For example, some gels are deformed under pressure while others even flow. Now let's discuss what happens to gel or a colloidal dispersion on cooling or standing. As you can see over the screen, I have prepared a flow chart to understand this phenomenon. For example, you have a colloidal dispersion which is being cooled. So what will happen? There would be an increase in viscosity and thus rigidity. So this point is known as gel point. Now if you further cool it or let it stand, then there is increase in rigidity and many gels on continued standing lose solvent that is gel shrinks and this phenomenon of oozing out water from gel is known as syneresis or weeping of gel and this terminology is very important from examination point of view and from industrial point of view which is to be taken care of during food processing. Now let's talk a bit about the relevance of gel formation in food chemistry. Gel is a very important concept in food chemistry. Not only properties of living cells, uh, whether animal or plants depend on gel structure, but also it critically affects food processing. Here I would like to quote few examples, uh, high viscosity of plant juices, rigidity of pectin and starch gels or when we discuss about stiffening during cooking let's say uh, when we are cooking meat or sometimes flour or egg so there are certain changes in its structure so all these food processing operations and many more are associated with formation of gel so this was all about gel formation in my upcoming video i'll be discussing about theories of gel formation which is very important from uh, examination point of view so stay tuned with food site for more such concepts and learning in a simplified manner agar aapko video pasand aaya hai to please like share and subscribe thank you thank you for listening